In this video, we're going to show you how to downgrade the iOS 10 beta back to the latest public version of iOS 9. The first thing you want to do is to back up your device. Make sure you back up via either iCloud or iTunes. Then you want to connect your device to your Mac or PC and open iTunes. And then you want to download the latest version of iOS 9 for your particular device. Now, ipsw.me is the site that I use. It makes it super easy to do so, so that's what I do. All right, so it's saved to my downloads folder, as you'll see right here. There is my uh, iOS 9.3.2, which is the latest publicly available firmware for my iPhone success. And then you want to hold the option key on your keyboard and click check for update. If you're on a Windows machine, hold the shift key instead, and then select the iOS 9 software and then click open and then click update right here. Okay, so in this portion of the video, I'm going to speed things up significantly because you're going to be waiting a while while this extracts the software and then applies the update. It's going to take you anywhere between, I don't know, say about 10 to 15 minutes to complete the update. I'm going to do it much quicker than that. I'm going to speed it up so you're not sitting here waiting for me. Also, you see a screenshot of the iPhone update in progress in the bottom left hand corner here. And you can also see iTunes at the same time. So you kind of know what to expect when you perform this update. Now, iTunes actually thinks this is a an upgrade, um, but actually we're downgrading from iOS 10 back to iOS 9. But because Apple is still signing the latest publicly available iOS 9 software update, you can easily downgrade back to iOS 9. Now, all you need to do here is just slide to upgrade, put in your passcode, and now just wait. And again, I've sped things up a little bit here. And then eventually, eventually, there we go. All right, so now you just slide to unlock, put your passcode back in, just slide. There we go, put your passcode in. All right, so now we are on iOS 9. How do you know? Well, if you try to remove the Mail app, it doesn't work. Also, the Home app is no longer there, and there's other ways we can verify as well, but trust me, it is iOS 9.3.2 running on my iPhone success here. And you can see the old spotlight interface as well. So ladies and gentlemen, are you planning on downgrading back to iOS 9? Let me know down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.